In this lesson, we will discuss how we can break apart add-ins by their place value as tens and ones in order to add two-digit numbers. So this is another strategy you can use when adding two-digit numbers. So let's take a look at what we have here. 34 is one of our add-ins and 21 is another add-in. So we could leave our equation in a linear form, so written like a number sentence, and we could easily add them by breaking apart each add-in by tens and ones. So let's take a look at that a little more closely. All right, here we have 27 and 48. If you look, you see the tens are underlined and we rewrite them just two tens is 20, four tens is 40. Combine those and we get 60. Well then we also have our ones. So if we decompose our numbers by place value, 27 we know in expanded form would be 20 plus seven. And 48 would be 40 plus eight. So we could also write that a different way and add it. Or we could say 20 plus 40 is 60 and seven plus eight is 15. And we come up with the sum of 75. Here you see it's our HTO chart, all right? And we put our tens and ones or we could draw quick picks to also show 27 plus 48. And again, two tens plus four tens is six tens, and seven ones plus eight ones is 15 ones. Well, once we have 15 ones, we know we have an extra 10, which is why we would have then seven tens and five ones. Let's take a look at that on our work mat. Okay. So here we have our work mat, and just like before, we have our HTO chart, our 100 tens ones. Of course, we have thousands over here as well, but for second grade, we primarily focus right now on just hundreds, tens, and ones. So our numbers that we were adding was 27 plus 48. That's what we looked at just a moment ago, right? So here we have 27 plus 48. And we were breaking apart those numbers by place value, by tens and ones. So we have 10, 20, 27, Twenty-seven plus forty-eight. All right. If we take a look at our tens and ones, we have our two tens for twenty, and our seven ones, and then we have our four tens for forty, and our eight ones. So let's go ahead and let's combine our tens first. If we have two tens plus four tens, that now gives us six tens. Six tens equals 60. Now we'll look at our ones. We have seven ones and we have eight ones. Well, remember our previous lesson on compensation? If I have eight ones here, I only need two more ones to make another 10. So I'm going to drag those two and put them over here. Now I'm going to circle these because I made a new 10. And I'm going to drag those 10 over here because I just made a new 10, right? So now instead of six 10s, I now have 
seven tens because what I had was ten and I had five ones. So when I added my ones all together, I did get fifteen. That was the sum. However, when I started combining them, I found I got another ten. So I actually now have seven tens and five ones, which gives me the total sum of seventy-five. Let's do another. All right. You think of a two-digit number. I like that number you were thinking of, twenty-eight. So we're going to write twenty-eight because we're going to write our number sentence down. And my friend gave me another number, eighteen. All right. If you are paying attention, you can tell me what's the first thing we want to do. That's right. We want to break apart our add-ins. By their place value, tens and ones. So we're going to look at two tens and one ten. Let's go ahead and let's drag them over. For twenty-eight, we have two tens and we have eight ones. Eighteen, we have one ten and eight ones. Okay, so now we are ready to add our tens. Twenty, plus ten equals thirty. And we can add our ones. Oh, that's a doubles fact. Eight plus eight. That's pretty easy, isn't it? Eight plus eight is sixteen. Very good. Well, we're not finished yet because we have only partial sums, so we've got to put these two together here. So when I combine thirty and sixteen, that's super easy because I have three tens plus one more ten makes four tens. Tens. So the answer is forty-six. The sum of twenty-eight and eighteen is forty-six. Well, let's double-check our work with our HTO chart. We pulled over two tens, and remember, if you don't have a chart at home and you don't have blocks at home or access to digital tools, you can always draw quick picks. Right, and our quick picks are pretty much the same thing. We just use lines for tens and dots or circles for ones. So that would be one ten and one one, or two tens and a one. That makes twenty one. So you can always find a way to show your work. So let's go back up here and let's take a look at what we have: two tens and eight ones, one ten and eight ones, twenty eight. Plus eighteen, and I can write that here. So I'm putting these together. Well, let's look at our ones. Eight and eight, we said was a sixteen, right? When we put those together, we end up with sixteen. But remember, before we said we could take two of them and bring them up to make a new ten, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Let's drag these two. Let's bring them up here, and now we have a brand new set of tens. A whole new set of tens. So we're going to drag them, whoops, over into the tens column. So we now have a new ten. We ended up with an extra ten, and what's left over is six ones. You see how that works? So now we can add, and we'll cross them off because see that's empty now. So now we have two tens plus one ten plus one ten is forty, and our six ones, forty-six, 
excellent, excellent work. I think you're ready to try some of these all by yourself.